All right, what's up guys, RK here, and today I wanted to give you kind of a, uh, a tour of the commercial aquaponics system that is running at the property where we are doing our training center at. So we have two 2,000 gallon fish tanks here full of tilapia. So this is fish tank one, and you'll see the water flowing up. That is actually flowing from the sump tank, which is the lowest um, place in the entire system. And it's pumped back up just like this, so it aerates the water here. Now, if you see, there is um, four inch pipe, or there's actually three inch pipe, going in between both of the fish tanks. So this just connects the two fish tanks uh, into one into one tank and the three inch pipe has sluice in it that goes all the way to the bottom that makes it so that we grab the solids off of the bottom of that tank and we transfer them over here now if you hear you kind of you can kind of hear it that's actually an air compressor now uh, all the pumps from the fish tanks to the grow beds um, are all pumped via air so we have the air compressor pump and it runs down air to the ground and you'll see once we get to the uh, to the grow beds that it's all it's all run off of air now the next thing you see coming off of tank number two we have a uh, another pipe again pulls the solids from the bottom and goes down on the ground follow this comes up to here now this is where we pump the water to the beds from now of course this tank here or this pipe here the water is level in that pipe with the fish tank so water will always find its level doesn't matter how far away it is so it pumps up or the the, the water drains over to here it's level here and in these we have airlift pumps so the air you see comes from that hose to that pipe where we pump from the compressor. And inside of this two inch pipe is a, a one inch pipe. And the water is pumped into this T, or sorry, the air is pumped into this T. It goes down and it finds its way through the, the holes on the bottom. It bubbles up and shoots up here. And we have this as a silencer so you don't hear the, you don't hear the burping. And the water shoots up here and then falls and then drains drains down into the into the media bed so we have three of these media beds and each one the same exact way so the pipe comes up here this is the water from the fish tank all completely level with the fish tank over there and each one of them being pumped by air into the grow bed now the three grow beds each have a uh, bell siphon inside of them so this will fill up this grow bed up to the level of the standing pipe and it will automatically ebb and flow and you'll see that is the exit for the bell siphon and you'll see it goes down this pipe and it goes all the way to the end over there so we have six 50 foot grow beds um, we have three grow beds that each go to one grow bed um, ebb and flows and drains into two of our of our rafts. All right, I'll go show you how that works. So I'm here at the end of uh, one of our 50 foot troughs. And as you can see at the very end, there is a drain at the bottom of that. If you look at the bed directly next to it, uh, a little bit hard to see, but there's a drain right there. So like I said, we have six beds. Um, they are connected in twos, so we have technically three floating raft troughs, DWC troughs. And so the, the, the piping just goes there, it goes down in a U over to here. So these two grow beds are connected, and like I said, each one actually has a flood and drain from one of the, uh, from one of the media beds. Alright, and finally, we have at the very end here... This sets the level for the grow bed. So the water comes in via bell siphon from the media beds 
And like I said, the two beds are connected. So whenever any water comes in, it's going to automatically drain the water from here back to the sump tank. And if you'll notice, we put a bucket over it, but you um, can't really see it because of the lighting, but the bucket has slits on the bottom. So that means, again, that it's a solid lift overflow, which means it the water comes in from the bottom, drains in, and it sucks up over the top. So it's pulling kind of the solids from the bottom of the trough over the standpipe and being drained to the sump. Now, so we have three of these drains to the sump. The sump is over here. It's the lowest point in the system. And the water drains into here. And then you can see that white little pump over there. That pumps from the sump tank. And that goes all the way back to our fish tanks over there and completes the cycle. So that's what our uh, commercial system looks like. Um, that's how we're running the plumbing and pumping with air and all that kind of stuff. All right, guys, hope you like that.